The Better Minecraft mod pack currently has 43 bosses. And in this video, to start my brand new hardcore world, I'm gonna try to beat every single one of them. Obviously though, before I start killing any bosses, I gotta get geared up, so let's get to work. What is this thing? This thing is all over my crafting table. What is going on? And there's already like a little dirt shack that I guess I can make my home for now, a bed and everything. Do not mind if I do. All right, and there we go. I'm fully geared up now. Time to do a bit of exploring. Ooh, some sort of spawner here. Oh my, oh my God. No, thank you. I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. It's still chasing too. What is that? Wait, we could maybe get some insane loot if I kill it though. I'm definitely gonna revisit that in a second. But first, before I get too carried away, I wanna go ahead and try and find some food because that is gonna be an issue very soon. Uh-oh. Okay, I probably don't want to mess with these zombies at all because now I'm running out of hunger and I'm already down half of my heart. Do I want to go down <laughs> this well? Do we think there's food down there? Uh, I think I'm good for now. Maybe another day. Maybe another day. <gasps> some sheep. Yes, just what I need. Oh, and there's some cows over here as well. I'm sorry for what I have to do. <laughs> and there we go. <laughs> Finally, some food. And I can start healing back up again. Let's go. Holy. All right. Maybe it's about time we go visit that uh, full diamond armor skeleton again now and uh, see what that guy's up to. <gasps> he is still down here. Oh, wait. He, he didn't do too much damage, actually. I was expecting more damage. I guess his... And of course, if a creeper coming to help us out, <laughs> please stand back. Okay. Wait, actually might have helped us, though. I can probably set up some sort of, like, trap here for him. Perfect, exactly like this actually. Okay, he has 100 HP and I'm doing like three with a full hit. So this is gonna take a while. There we go. Oh my God, look at all it took. Oh my God. Okay, wait, wait, before this spider comes and attacks me, see what I just got, holy. So some diamond boots that are almost broken, that's actually not that good. But look at this, diamond helmet, unbreaking six, serenity three, I don't know what that is, but projectile protection seven. That is absurd. I'm gonna throw that on immediately. What the heck? So I'm wondering if that spawner it came out of, does it keep producing more? Okay, no, it only produces one. So now this place is like totally cleared out, huh? So what's in the chest here then? Unbreaking three iron pickaxe. Don't mind if I do. Some wheat, some gunpowder. That is a pretty good start for us on this loot adventure. So I think I'll also use these silver ingots I looted right there to make this silver sword because it seems pretty good. So now this right here is some other kind of dungeon again, right? I can't lie, I'm kind of scared to look in this. I think I'm actually exploring this thing backwards. I think I went in at the bottom and we're going back towards the top. Uh-oh. We have a friend. Uh oh, what is that? I think it's actually another one of those mini bosses. It is another one of the special mobs. So I should be able to get another like crazy piece of enchanted gear like this helmet out of this, which will be perfect. Some boots this time. Oh my God, look at those things. Holy, they're only on iron boots. So not the greatest, but that is still insane. All right, we are getting stocked up too. I'm most happy honestly about these nine pumpkin pies I found as well, because that means I'm stocked up on food for at least a little bit longer also. Bro, this ravine I just happened to go into turned into like the most massive thing ever. Okay, there are a lot of mobs down there though, wow. Bro, these zombies want a piece of me. How am I gonna get down there? Okay, if I go to like the lowest part of this cave, I can probably make some sort of pathway down. Oh, here we are. <laughs> Took me a second to find how to get in. Oh, that's a cave spider as well. I gotta be careful with how I deal with this thing, don't I? Oh my god, there's so many of them. Okay, wait, I did I really want to- Oh my- Oh my god! Oh my god. Okay, this is bad. This is bad. Oh my god. Oh my god, I was not ready for that many mobs. What the heck is that? Eat some more so I can heal up back to full health. All right, I don't think it'd be smart to go back in there. Okay, we are at a pretty low Y level, but I literally think my best bet at this point 
is to build up to the surface. Okay, wow, I actually got to the surface way quicker than I thought I was going to. We got lucky and are not in like a mountain. That escape actually went a lot smoother than I thought it was going to. All right, so I want to go mine some obbies so I can make a portal and get to the nether as soon as possible, but I'm going to need a stronger pickaxe to do that. So time for a mining trip. Let's go in, baby. All right, and we are officially in the nether. This seems like somewhat of an interesting spawn. Oh, and I already have uh, something very scary looking coming to kill me. All right, well, this place seems friendly. Oh, what are we, oh, 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 I need to put on a piece of uh, gold. I forgot about that. All right, I'll just make some gold boots real quick, and I guess we'll toss those on. All right, can I walk around here in peace now? Yes, beautiful. Oh, I forgot they are not going to be happy if I open their chest either. That guy did so much damage. Oh my god. Okay, let me out. Let me out. Let me out. Well, I'm officially out of food now, and all I really discovered is that the nether is terrifying. So I guess now would be a good time to set up a farm so that I don't starve to death. All right, and I'm just gonna leave it super small like this for now because there's no point in making a massive farm when I don't even have that many crops to plant yet. But I now have all the ingredients to craft a mixed salad, which when I eat it will even give me five seconds of regen. And so with that problem solved, I decided to do a little bit more caving and managed to find another mini boss in the process who dropped a very nice chest plate. And then when I went to open the chest from his dungeon, I found the sponsor of today's video, War Thunder. War Thunder is a free to play epic multiplayer game where you get to choose between a range of ground vehicles, aircraft and naval vessels to compete in massive online battles. And the locations in War Thunder span the entire globe. So you can choose to battle wherever you want from Africa, to Alaska. And as you level up in War Thunder, you'll unlock a ton of new improvements for your vehicles, as well as brand new camos and skins. And they've now released their brand new Sky Guardians update that adds a bunch of new vehicles to choose from, including the legendary Little Bird helicopter, and for the first time ever in War Thunder, warships of the French fleet. There's also a brand new location for aircraft fights and overhauled visual effects that make the experience more realistic than ever. So you can download War Thunder completely for free using my link in the description below and all new players or those who haven't entered War Thunder for six months will receive 100,000 silver lions, a week of legendary German ground vehicles, three premium vehicles forever, XP boosters, and a week of premium account. Big thank you to War Thunder for sponsoring this video, and now let's get back into it. All right, and now that I'm feeling much more confident about my gear and food situation, I think it's about time I start working towards my first boss fight. And what better boss to start things off with than the OG Minecraft boss herself, the Ender Dragon. And the first step towards that is going to be to find another fortress so that I can get some blaze rods. Oh, wait, um, this doesn't look like a regular, like, nether fortress, but I'm honestly not even sure if those are in this mod pack. Oh, okay. Um... Giddy blaze. All right. Yeah, these are definitely not normal blazes, but it did drop a blaze rod. So this might actually be all that I need. Wow. Perfect. Are they guaranteed to drop blaze rods as well? This might be super easy. And now that I had more than enough blaze rods, I started to make my way out of the nether so that I could shift my focus over to getting ender pearls. But on the way back, I stumbled across another interesting looking structure. Oh, what the... What is going on down here? Oh, wait, I think I actually know exactly what this is. I'm pretty sure this is where I'm going to have to fight a boss from one of the mods a little bit later on. I am definitely not ready for this one yet, though. And what's this here? Tungsten ore. I don't know if this is good or not. Whoa, this stuff is actually crazy good. Yeah, I think I definitely want to try and collect these. Uh, a reinforced blaze. I do not know if this is going to be good. Oh, oh my God. That thing got very close to me before I was able to kill it. All right, yeah, I just need to go down to like the ground level now to collect all of these. I don't really want to drop straight down. I feel like this will probably do a lot of damage to me. Oh no, these boots have feather falling seven, so I should be totally fine. Let's, let's just find out, I guess. Oh yeah, I took like no damage from that. Wait, these feather falling seven boots are crazy clutch. Oh wait, stuff is spawning in now. I'm kind of scared. I'm gonna try and avoid this guy. The fact that he's so slow moving makes me think he probably does a ton of damage. 
That's a lot of extra blaze rods, though. Also, okay, wait, they're spawning in like crazy now. I need to get out of here. Oh, wait, actually, it's not just tungsten ingots for the set, though. You also need, like, blaze armor scraps in order to make the armor. Oh, wait, and that's what those reinforced blazes were dropping. Wait, maybe I actually want to go back there and try and collect some of these blaze armor scraps for them. All right, and there we go, 13. I think I now have more than enough for every piece of tungsten material I could ever dream of. So let's get the heck out of here. And now the hunt for enderpearls officially began, which I anticipated would be fairly easy, but it quickly turned into a massive nightmare. First, I spent two whole nights in the overworld just searching for naturally spawning endermen, and I got a total of one ender pearl. So I then made my way back into the nether, found a bastion, and tried my hand bartering with some piglins, and I got zero ender pearls. I then spent approximately 30 minutes hunting down a warped forest biome before finding out that apparently endermen don't even spawn there in this mod pack. And just when I was ready to abandon all hope, I found out that there's an ender pearl ore and was able to mine all that I needed in like five minutes. On the bright side though, I did also manage to kill another one of those mini bosses in the process who dropped this insanely good helmet. Oh my god! This helmet is insane. This helmet is literally insane. What the heck? Alright, so here we go. Turn some of the blaze rods I have into blaze powder, and boom! There we go. 13 eyes of ender. Of course, I'll need 12 of these to actually open the portal, so hopefully in the process of finding it, only one or two breaks. Alright, here we go. Throwing my first eye of ender and this direction okay yes and we didn't lose it thank god all right we still have 13. all right i ran a pretty good distance i'm gonna risk throwing another one here okay it's probably a good adjustment don't break don't break yes we're still good we're still good this portal is way out here though i was not expecting to have to run this far all right and i'm gonna have to jump down a long way to keep going so let's just do another check oh wait it's going back this direction now oh my god Yep, I think this is it. Thank God we have Feather Falling 7. That could have been, uh, that could have been bad. And now I just have to find the portal room. Oh, there we go. Yes, okay, I found it. Wow, this, uh, I feel like this is at a really weird spot, but I'm not gonna complain. Hopefully I am prepared for this. All right, here we go. Let's do it. All right, and we are in the end. It looks like I actually have quite a big distance to cover here, and I am not much in the way of a speed bridger, so uh, give me a second to get over there. Wow, I had just literally like exactly enough cobblestone to get over here. All right, and there's the ender dragon. Let's get to work. All right, so to start here, I need to start taking out these end crystals. And one thing I just thought of though is I didn't even really think about bringing arrows. So I only have 28 left of these in total. Oh, it is going for a perch though. I'm gonna go in for some damage. Wow, this diamond sword is doing like almost nothing to it. This is crazy. I am getting some hits in though. Okay, wow, it stayed perched for a while, but at that rate, I think it's gonna take me like four perch stages to take it out. We need to get rid of that end crystal though because it is healing back up already. I gotta make a plan to get rid of this thing. Okay, which one of these has the end crystal though? I'm just gonna hope it's this one and build my way up right now. Yes, okay, it was this one. Nice, we got it, okay. Come on, we're so close, we're so close. Come on, come on. We got it, we got it, this is it, this is it, come on. Yes, there it is, we got it. Ender Dragon down, let's go. Boss number one completed. And even though we just completed our first boss, I'm going in for the second one right now, this mutant Enderman. We are hopefully gonna be taking out two bosses in a crazy short time frame here. Okay, maybe not, this guy's actually kind of strong. Oh no, and I've got Enderman on me now as well. Oh my god, I need a golden apple. I just took so much damage. That was so much damage. Oh my god. Oh, he's almost done. He's almost done. Come on, one more hit. Oh, we got him. We got him. Let's go. Two bosses down just like that. That should be it for bosses in the end for now. Let me go through the portal and get to the overworld. Oh, and I accidentally right-clicked on one of the beds in the stronghold. So now I'm spawned back here. I gotta run all the way back to my base. What the heck? Oh my, I am not ready for you right now. Oh my god, oh my god, okay. Oh my god, go, go, go. What are the odds of that? Bro, I just saw that fire start spreading. I was like, what is going on? Please stop chasing me. Oh my god. My boots are on such low durability now. 
please leave me alone. Okay, I need to just go underground at this point. It's my, at least my boots don't break or something. Oh my god, I can't even get underground. Oh, okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Bro, that was terrifying. Okay, I actually do want to set up a waystone for when I come back here later though. So I first need to make this purple dye. All right, and then I have the emerald. I have the pearls for this. So then all I need is the stone brick and the obsidian, which should be easy enough to get. Oh, wow, some diamonds in this chest here, finally. I think that's the first diamonds I've gotten. Oh my god, all right. Well, I almost just stumbled right into this boss. That could have done some horrible damage to me, but I blocked this stuff off in time. And it looks like it's wearing full diamonds, so this should be some pretty solid loot for us. Let's see. Some new boots, honestly. That is kind of exactly what I'd be looking for right now. Indestructible Fire Prot Prot 5 Depth Strider 3 boot. Oh, and there's a backpack in here. Wait, what the heck? I didn't even know that was a thing. All right, and here is the portal room. So let me go ahead and make this waystone and i can go ahead and throw it down right outside here and so now i'll be able to tp straight to this end portal from any other waystone i do still now of course need to get back to my home base and somehow avoid dying to that dragon that was up there in the process so this should be interesting i'm just gonna make a run for it down here and hopefully i don't have to deal with it it's nighttime now though so maybe it's like sleeping or something we made it let's go home sweet home <laughs> Let's sleep to the morning. Oh my god. And first thing I'll do is go ahead and craft another one of these waystones and get it set up right outside of my home base here. So now you can see I can easily teleport between the end portal here and my home base. And uh, yeah, life is super easy that way. And second order of business now that we're back is I need to go ahead and repair this iron chest plate. And then of course the iron boots as well. So now it's back to hunting down some more bosses and I wanna continue getting done with all of the vanilla bosses. So next on my list is the wither, which means we need to head back to this structure off in the distance over here and collect some wither skulls. And that is one wither skull down. Wait, there's a wither skeleton skull just chilling on the ground here. I, I can literally just mine that one. The chest here as well. Another wither skeleton skull in there as well. We already got the three that we need. All right. Need to collect a little bit of soul sand here as well. And back to the overworld. That was a very easy trip to the nether. All right, now probably don't want to spawn the wither like directly next to my base or anything. So I'm going to run a decent distance away and then we'll spawn this thing in. I'm also just assuming that I'm ready for this fight. This could be like a modded version of the wither and I'm just totally underprepared for it, but let's find, oh. All right, turns out in this pack, I need soul stone, not soul sand. So uh, yeah, is this soul stone right here? Yes, it is, all right. Let's try this again. Hopefully it actually works this time. We will see, moment of truth. Um, okay, well, maybe this is the wrong soul stone. Wait, there literally is two types of soul stone also. Oh my god. Let's try this again. After giving it a second of thought as well, maybe I should actually go and do this underground because otherwise I'm just not gonna be able to hit it because I only have six arrows at the moment. There's like this mine shaft thing here. Maybe I can try and uh, spawn it in down here. Whatever, I guess let's go for it, right? And boom. All right, it's charging up, <laughs> it's charging up. Let me have my shield ready to block this. There we go. Oh, it just blew up all my lighting. All right, but this way it won't be able to fly up super high. So hopefully... I can get in some good hits with my sword. Oh yeah, we're doing big damage on this guy, I think. I'm gonna go ahead and eat one of these mixed salads as well. And that'll give me some regen. It's slowly getting higher up. It's like almost out of my reach right now. I could just barely get the sword hits in on it. Oh, we got this though. We got this. This is free. This is free for us. And boom, there we go. We get another star and also a heart container. Increases maximum health by one heart up to 20 times. Wait, what the heck? That is OP. I am definitely going to go ahead and use that. All right, let's go. That actually went surprisingly well. I'm really glad I decided to do it down there in a cave like that because if it was up on the surface here, I was probably just not going to be able to hit that thing. And obviously in terms of vanilla Minecraft bosses, the next one down the line is the warden. But it's going to be a little bit different than you might expect because this mod pack is on 1.16, which means that the warden doesn't exist in the vanilla version. But the deep dark is actually still added 
added as like a separate dimension in this pack. But before I can travel there, I gotta go collect some materials. And I think that's what we need right there. If you remember from before, this was not the greatest cave to be in. Maybe now I'm a bit better prepared for it though. I'm just gonna go ahead and break this spawner. Diamond Axe, the God Slayer of Violence. <laughs> what is that? Plus 100% critical hit chance, plus 18.5% current HP damage. Wait, let me go try this out in a mob. I feel like this has to like one hit everything, right? Oh, I guess not. Well, I have no idea. We'll keep trying it out and see, but maybe it's not actually better than my diamond sword. Anyways, though, here's this cold deep stone that I need to collect a bit of don't need too much of it so that should already be enough then we do three obsidian in the bottom three cold deep stone on top chains right here and we get an item called the light and dark now if i just head down to bedrock then we throw down the light and dark on top of the bedrock grab that diamond and boom now all i gotta do is right click onto this thing and we are officially in the deeper dark. And now you might be thinking that this doesn't look much like the deep dark, but that's just because I need to first go ahead and mine my way out of here. And now you'll see it's looking a bit sketchier. When it comes to the rest of the mechanics of this mod though, I'm gonna be honest, I have no idea how it works. So from this point forward, I am going in totally blind. Looks like we already have some sort of friend over here. A skulk villager, all right. And another one here. Let's take that guy out. Looks like, oh my god, what is that? A skulk mite. Mitosoma, <laughs> okay. And what is this? Skulk shrieker? Oh god, uh, I probably should have broken these. Oh my god, <laughs> okay. Um, it just gave me blindness three and darkness. I literally can't see anything. Thankfully, that didn't last for too long there. I guess I should probably be moving around a little bit more carefully and not just stomping around everywhere like a total moron. Uh-oh. Is that who I think it is? Are these all wardens? All right, well, that is definitely not what I'm looking for. Uh, I only want to fight one of the wardens. I don't want to fight the entire crew of them. Can I get one of them to come chase me, perhaps? Oh, here he comes. Here he comes. All right. <laughs> I'm going in for a hit. Oh my god. Wait, this thing is a- Bro, this axe does insane damage. Oh my god, wait. I just- I, I took so much damage. I need to eat one of these mixed salads. Can we finish this thing off? Oh my god, I need to be so careful. I'm gonna eat one of these golden apples here. I need some better regen. How much does my sword do for comparison? Oh, my sword does pretty decent damage too. We actually just shredded that warden. Let's go. Not nearly as tough of a boss fight as I was anticipating that was gonna be. Only problem is now I need to get out of this place. Which in order to do that, I first need to grab a couple pieces of this grimstone here. And now I craft the opposite of what I just made to get here called the darkened light. And now to power this thing, I just need a gold ingot, which thankfully I was smart enough to bring along in my backpack with me. So we can get the heck out. And here we are, home sweet home. That is four bosses down already. Now that we're done with all of the vanilla Minecraft bosses though, it's time to move on to the next category of bosses, which I actually already got one done accidentally in the end, the mutants. In order to make the mutant bosses though, I need to do some material collecting. So let's get to work on that. So I need to collect a bunch of spider eyes first. I also need to get a bunch of brown mushroom. All right, and that should be enough there. Now I just need to go find some more sugar cane. All right, a little bit shorter on the cane than I want it to be, but we can always grow more later. So now I need to go ahead and just turn that into sugar. And now I should have the materials to start making this thing called Formula Y, which is how you actually create the mutants. There are quite a few steps to it though, so you will have to bear with me here. Of course, to start, I'll need some bottles. So let's grab some sand. Um, it appears I have some uninvited guests I need to go ahead and take care of really quickly. Goodbye, friends. And then, of course, we start with nether wart. Then we throw on a spider eye. Then we have to make a fermented spider eye and throw that one on. And then we need some glowstone dust, which I don't currently have. So uh, time for a quick trip to the nether again. All right, that should be more than enough for now. So now we put the glowstone on these instant damage potions and then finally add obsidian. And there we go. I now have three of this thing called Formula Y. And I've actually got a skeleton attack me right now. It's a perfect opportunity to go ahead and throw the Formula Y on it. Now we wait to see... Oh, 
And that right there is the first and more likely option that the mob simply explodes and nothing happens. But we've got another skeleton here so we can go ahead and try again because there is also the option that it'll just explode again. Never mind. Oh, there it is. There it is. We got one. We got one. All right, mutant skeleton. Now we got to take this guy down, which honestly, I don't even think, yeah, we are doing ridiculous damage to this guy right now. This mutant skeleton has absolutely nothing on me. One more hit and boom, we got him. Another boss down for us. And I can collect all the pieces of his body now that he dropped. And this is the important one here. I believe the skull. Yes, because here I can add the mutant skeleton skull to formula Y, which creates compound Z, which is basically the exact same thing, but it just has a much higher chance to actually turn the mob into a mutant. So if we have these three Formula Y in the brewing stand here, I throw the mutant skeleton skull on there. And there we go. Three things of compound Z. And I know the exact mob I'm trying the first one of these things out on. All right. I think it's only like a 25% chance so far from guaranteed, but let's see. Oh my God. There it is. Mutant Hoglin. <laughs> oh my God. Um, I have no idea how much damage this thing is going to do. I'm kind of terrified right now. All right, well, so far I'm not getting hit. Seems similar to the skeleton, not too bad. It's getting, oh yeah, this thing was easy. GG's. All right, let's go. That is our third mutant down already. And it also dropped this mutant hoglin tusk, which hopefully I could use to make three more compound Zs because that would be very helpful. All right, let's find out. There's three more formula Ys in here. If I put that in, yes, I can. Let's go. I have five compound Zs at the moment now. That should almost guarantee that we get another mutant with one of these. Got a creeper right here. We can go for the mutant creeper. Oh my God. Two in a row with only a 25% chance is crazy oh and this guy is easy as well oh um i probably shouldn't have done this one too close to my house though oh my god uh oh is he gonna explode and we have mini creepers everywhere now as well oh my god wait and it left like an egg here I got the egg on my head. What the heck? I'm having a crazy success rate with this compound Z right now, though. My God. I guess let's just see if we can keep this streak going. I haven't done a mutant spider yet, right? I guess we also haven't done a mutant zombie yet. We can give that one a try. Oh, and we got it. All right. All right, let's see if we can go in on this thing. Oh, wait. Uh, This one's actually doing damage. Oh, my God. Where are my golden apples? I think I might end up needing these. We're also going to need the regen from these mixed salads, probably. Oh, oh, my God. <gasps> This boy is actually doing damage. I'll go in for a couple of my axe. All right, he's low though. He's low. All right, we got him down. Oh my god. Uh, wow, that was that was insane. I still have these zombies on me. Wait, he's getting back up? You're kidding me. Why is he back up? Okay, well he's lower health. I guess maybe he just has multiple lives or something. I guess I'll do a golden apple here again. Okay, we got him down. Is he gonna get back up again? Can I like finish him off somehow? No way he gets back up again, right? Oh my god. Okay, let me let me back up. Let me back up. Oh my god. How many lives does this guy have? Okay, well, he's one HP. He's one HP. Oh my god. Please do not get up again. No way. No way he gets up a third time, right? Oh my god. I need to reach in. Oh, he's he's enraged. That's not good. Alright, I'm going. Oh, wait, we got him. We got him. That's gotta be it, right? Holy. And he dropped the Hulk hammer here. Can I use it to make more compound Zs? I can. I'm honestly just going to do that. And there we go. All right. My iron chest plate is already down to 34% durability again. This is not going to cut it anymore. I need to get one more diamond so I can just make an enchanting table and enchant this regular diamond chest plate I have. It's time. No, way it'll be that hard to just find one diamond vein, right? Although I have yet to find a single one. So <gasps> yes. Oh my god, finally. I was starting to think they didn't exist. Oh my god, four diamonds. Let's go. Oh my god, and more here as well. Is that just one though? That kind of sucks. Oh my god, and some more over here. That other cave system I was at just sucked, I guess. That's nine diamonds in like a minute. And there's a husk spawner down here. Wait, I actually am going to need this very, very soon. You guys do not even understand how much of a lifesaver this cave is. Oh my god. And more diamonds. Holy. All right. And I'm going to head back up now, but my God, did we get a lot of loot out of this cave? And that should be enough enchanting for now. So let's get back to fighting those mutant bosses. And I think the next one I want to go for is the mutant spider.
So it turns out the mutant spider doesn't exist, um, which that would explain why this hasn't been working for me. Surprisingly though, my boss count is still correct because there was one mutant that I missed, which is the mutant snow golem. And I've got these snow blocks to start trying to make one already, but I have no idea where I'm gonna find a pumpkin. Well, I guess the hunt for a pumpkin begins. Oh my god, there is so much wheat up here, and I could use the food. Don't mind if I do. No pumpkins, unfortunately, but I'll still take it. Uh-oh, looks like there's some illagers here as well, defending the wheat. Oh my god, what are the odds of that? Oh my god. Let me get this. <gasps> yes, wait. I'm full. There it is, a jack-o'-lantern. This will still work though, right? Please tell me there's another one of those jack-o'-lanterns somewhere. It cannot be just one, right? Oh, another one. Oh my god, yes, let's go. That one's just a regular pumpkin. Maybe there'll be more down at like the bottom of this hill because the wheat does go all the way down here. Oh, there's a couple here actually. Oh my god. I think if this structure hadn't spawned on like the edge of a hill like this, it probably would have had like a ton of these things here. But five is still not bad. We take that. There is an entire horde of mobs chasing me right now, though. I need to get the heck out of here. All right, let's go ahead and see. Please give me some good luck here. Here we go. Snow golem number one. All right, 0 for 1. That's okay. Come on, number two. Oh, wait, it didn't even explode. It just died. Well, attempt number three it is, please. Don't make it come down to the last one, please. Come on. Yes, there we go. Okay, no way it's going to be this easy. Wait. Wait. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Another boss down. Wow, that is so troll. Well, anyways, a boss is a boss, <laughs> no matter how easy, I guess. And with that, there is now only one more mutant boss to make in the overworld. And this is now where that spawner that we found a little bit earlier that I said was going to be very useful very soon. Well, it's going to be useful now. And I believe it's this one right here, right? Yes, the husk spawner, because our final mutant boss is a mutant husk. All right, so I guess I'll go ahead and just remove all the torches and then just clear out the area around here too. And hopefully they start spawning in. Oh, oh, okay. looks like they're already here. Come on. Attempt number one. All right, no good. Oh, there it is. Oh my God, on the last one on the last one oh wait i didn't even think about it this one is probably going to be as tough as the mutant zombie was wasn't it wait actually oh my god that's it we did it cannot believe it took me to the last one though i would have been so mad if we didn't get it at all oh my god mission accomplished though let's go and next up we've got the nether mutant so let's start with the wither skeleton Oh, yes, there it is. We got it. We got it. Let's go. All right. He's like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, wait. I was actually taking a bit of damage there. Wait, he's easy. He's easy again. These mutants are just too easy for us now. I got two up here. Wait, I did take some damage there, though. Oh, my God. And next up now is the mutant blaze. But you might remember from earlier that I never actually managed to find normal blazes. So first, we got to find some. Finally found some endermen in the nether, but that does not look like a normal enderman. Oh, wait, what is this? We might have actually found the fortress. Too many need a lot of blocks to build a bridge over there, though. One sec. Oh, yes, blazes. Oh, a blaze spawner, too. Let's go. Oh, my God. All right, let's start giving it a try, I guess. The first compound. Oh, my God, first try. We got it, first try. Oh, wait, okay, this thing actually looks kind of scary. Um, can I even hit this thing? Wait, this thing is, like, actually trapped here. It's literally gonna die. We got it, we got it. It's whipping me around. Oh, oh my god. Oh, 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 oh. I'm actually low. I'm actually low. I didn't even realize. Oh my god. Wait, oh my god. This is not good. This is not good. Bro, I went from thinking, like, this is the easiest fight ever to, oh my god, I might actually die here. That is actually insane, though. Now I'm gonna have five compound Zs for this last mutant. That should be so helpful. And now our final mutant boss is the mutant shulker, which I'm gonna have to find an end city for, and clearly there's not one of those around here. I guess I'll just start building a bridge out in one direction here, and hopefully I run into something eventually. Oh, wait, some stuff is popping up on the map here. I might have finally made it. Let's go. <laughs> Leave me alone, man. I'm just trying to get over here. 
just enough blocks. Let's go. What have I stumbled into here, though? Oh, wait. This looks like an end city loading in on the map over here. I might have finally found one. This took so long. Yes, it is an end city. Let's go. We might finally be able to finish these mutant bosses. And there's a shulker down here already. Let me get my shield out so I can block their projectiles. Let's see. Can I get... Wait, literally mutant shulker first try. Oh my god, let's go. There it is. There it is. We're getting some hits in on it. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wait, okay. It does a little bit of damage. Oh my god. Okay, wait. I gotta be. Wait. Oh, 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 oh. oh my god. Oh my god. I, I need to get some regen. I need to get some regen. Come on. Regen, regen, regen. Holy. Wait. Bro, it is spamming these levitation things. I'm like permanently levitating now. Thank god I have the feather falling eight on these boots. I'm just infinitely going up. This guy's literally just spamming like a thousand of them. Maybe I'm just not, yeah, maybe I'm just not moving enough because now I'm losing the levitation eventually here. I just need to try and stop it from regening. Wait, here we go. Wait, I'm low, but it's also low. This should be it. Yes, I got it. Oh, let's go. The mutant bosses are finally done though. Wow. The crazy thing though is for most of those bosses, it wasn't even the actual boss fight that was the hard part. It was either just actually getting the mutant boss to spawn or finding the mob to even try and turn it into. Ooh, there are some free shulker boxes up here though. Not the elytra I'm looking for though, so I'm getting out of here. Ooh, wait. That ship up there might actually be what I need. Hopefully the levitation I just got is going to be enough. Oh, it's going to cut close. It's going to cut close. <gasps> no! Oh no, please tell me my feather falling... Oh, thank God for the feather falling eight. Oh my God. All right, time to build my way up to this thing now. All right, and I am up. Of course, more shulkers here. Let's see. Oh, an elytra. Let's go. Yes, we got one. Wait, wow. And it comes with unbreaking three, mending on it straight off the bat. Let's go. Oh my God. Look at these leggings too. Wait, there is some crazy OP loot here. Oh my God. Like look. This diamond pick, these leggings, everything is so good. And now what I can do, since I don't want to have to walk all the way back, is just toss a waystone down here and just literally teleport back to my home base. Wait, and if I actually just take off this backpack, I can equip the elytra as my back slot and have it on with my armor. Where is all that gunpowder I've been saving up? It is time to make some firework rockets. I'm gonna need to find some more sugarcane because I don't have much in the way of paper, but there we go. We can make 18 rockets for now. All right, and I'm usually exclusively a high pixel skyblock player, so you're gonna have to bear with me when it comes to learning the elytra for a second. This is going to make my life so much easier. Oh my god. Anyways, though, it's time to go slay some more bosses. And our next category of bosses is what I'm gonna call the structure bosses because they just randomly spawn in structures somewhere in the world. Maybe not the most creative name ever. Ever, but hey give me a break all right oh wait wait i actually just flew right into one of the bosses i'm looking for here too there it is all right let's go in for this hydra kill come on now i think the fire aspect might actually carry me for this fight because as long as this thing is on fire it can't heal so i actually don't want to let it go down there into the water i'm gonna pop a mixed salad so that the poison it's doing doesn't hurt me too much yeah we're doing good so far i just don't want to let it get oh no oh, wait it didn't even pop this eat eat my god, I needed that regen. That could have been really bad. We got it. We got it. Let's go. Let's go. We have had some close calls with these bosses. My god. Ooh. I think this is a dragon's den, isn't it? Yes, there is definitely a dragon around here. Oh my god. Oh my god. All right, here we go. I guess we are fighting a fire dragon. Oh my god. I was hoping to start with the easier ice and fire bosses, but I guess we're going straight into the hard ones. Oh no, it grabbed me. How much HP is this thing at? I feel like I'm actually getting in pretty good hits on it. We already have it down below half HP. As long as I don't- Oh, we got this. We got this. Let's go. Oh my god, wait. Let's go ahead and loot this now. Oh my god. Just like that though, another boss done. This elytra has made stuff so much easier because now I can actually explore and look for stuff. Oh, what is this here now though? I believe this is a Cyclops cave. Oh, it is. Oh my god. Let's go for it. Let's go for it. Hey, we've taken down a dragon. We've taken down a Hydra. How bad could this guy be? How bad could he be? Let's just go for it. Oh, 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 oh. oh my god. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Okay, let's regen a little bit here. Hopefully he doesn't regen as well because I got some good damage in on him. But if he fully regen, I might be in trouble. I'm back to like full health here. Did he regen? No, he did not. All right, we got him like half HP then. <laughs> oh, he's coming after me now. He is coming after me now. And I have all these other mobs on me too. Go, go, go. Oh my God. 
Oh my god, oh my god. Okay, I'll go in first a couple more hit. Oh no. Bro, he's doing like half my HP with one hit. Oh, we got him, we got him. Bro, once again, I underestimate these bosses. That guy actually did some damage. Oh, this is exactly what I was looking for. Let's go. Before I go in here, though, it's very important that I grab one piece of leather and this two string I have because I'm going to need to craft an item called the blindfold. Because as soon as I flick this lever here, it is going to unleash a Gorgon, which if it looks at me in the eyes, will immediately turn me to stone and kill me. So yeah, this blindfold is going to be very useful. So let's go ahead and open that up here. And I'll head down here. All right, here she is. So yeah, with this blindfold on, this should be a fairly easy fight. Boom, there we go. Oh my god. God, that thing is in netherite. It is probably so strong, but I have to go for the kill. Maybe, maybe I can just keep it ranged or something. Oh my God, don't hit me. Don't, I'm so scared. It's like stuck underwater here. This might actually be helpful. We got it. We got it. Oh, it dropped the chest plate. Oh my God. Oh my God. That was so worth. Bro, that is a ridiculous drop. Oh my God. All right, back to hunting for these bosses though. Oh, wait, Barack with the Sun Chief? Is this him? Oh, it is him right here. Wow, I had to go pretty far out to find one of these things. My God, they are not common at all. All right, where is he at? Oh, he's already shooting down the lightning beams on me. Oh, here he is. Gotta probably take out the minions first. I'm literally just one-shotting these things though. Seems kind of easy. Oh yeah, this guy is not gonna stand any chance against me. Oh my God. He's not even doing anything. Even that like mega beam did nothing. I don't think I lost a single heart that whole time. That oh oh my god a lightning drive I, I didn't even realize what that was oh this could be so bad wait put the other helmet on put the other helmet on oh my god oh my god oh my god run 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 oh 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 my god all right I'm gonna be honest I was comfortable just leaving it at only a fire dragon for the fight um the lightning dragon is a lot tougher but it looks like i am not getting the option on whether or not i want to fight this thing bro i need to regen some more oh my god bro the witch is splashing with all sorts of debuffs as well oh god this is painful how how low is it oh we have it pretty low we have it pretty low i probably can finish it off here actually let me go in for the kill i'm gonna go in for it i think the reason i took so much damage initially was because i had that mask on Oh yeah, we got it. Let's go. Well, that was something. Oh my God, that caught me off guard. I think this ship over here is actually one of the things I am looking for. I'm going a little bit too fast. Look, can we slow down? If I am not mistaken. Oh, there's a that's exactly what I'm looking for right there. That shell horn. Let me go ahead and break my way in here and boom, we got it. And now I'm pretty sure I can just like come over here and right click that shell horn. And yep. There is the boss. Putting my gear to the test once again. Oh, we are doing good damage. Bro, I think this new chest plate is just like too insane. Oh, wait, that was just the first stage. She fully regened as well. Maybe I spoke too soon. Almost got her here unless she has another stage after this. Nope, we got it. Let's go. And that is another boss down just like that. We are rolling through these things right now. The Frost Maw boss bar has popped up, but I do not see him any. Oh. Uh, I guess I do see him. This guy's not too strong, right? After Baraka, I was not really too worried about this guy, and it was for good reason. All right, and now I'm going to fly back towards my home base because I believe I spotted another one of the boss structures underground when I was mining earlier on. I see the logo for it on the mini map. I think, I think I'm digging up into it right now. Yep, here we are, the Ferris Rotnot. I, I'm definitely going to want a shield for fighting this guy, I think. When can I go in for a hit on this guy? Did he break my shield in one hit? I think we need to bait him into attacking. Yeah, there we go. Then we go in for a big hit here. Oh my god. This sword does so much damage. There it is. And this should be the end of him, I believe. Boom. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest. We're a little bit too good for some of these fights right now. And I have no idea why I'm still using a vanilla bow. Let's get this thing enchanted. Power four, yes. All right, there's only one more boss that randomly spawns in the overworld that we have to track down, but this one is gonna be by far the hardest to find because I am now looking for the conjurer, which only spawns in the roofed forest bio. Or another dragon, are you kidding me? I've got places to be, man. 
Oh my god, wait, I actually shredded that thing. Oh, and it looks like these guys' ship caught a bit of a crossfire here. Uh, sorry about that, guys. And finally, we have arrived. It took me such a long time to get here. Look at those cords. I am so far away from spawn right now. My god. And I was assuming I was gonna have to do some searching to find the conjurer, but I guess not, because he is just right here. Uh, and the fire is kind of giving away his location, so I can just take him out like that. Wow. Literal hours of flying for a 10 second boss fight and a new hat. And for the next three bosses now, I'm gonna need some nether stars, so... I've got the three nether stars I need now, also got two extra hearts from fighting those withers, and our first boss fight is just gonna be right here. Let's summon this thing, I believe I just tossed another star there, yep, here he is, the awful ghast. Oh, you know what, I probably should have brought some more arrows, this is about to get interesting now. I'm gonna need to get creative now, we have no arrows, so it is gonna be melee damage only for me. Can I hit it from up here? I built a bridge over to it, we can actually beat this thing now. There we go. Oh, the loot's gonna drop in the fire. Oh, I, we got it. We got it. Let's go. Awful gun. How does this work? Oh, dang. Wait, this thing is kind of sick. Doing that fight with no arrows was definitely an interesting experience. Thankfully for this next one here, I do not think I will be needing any arrows. Toss another star on that, and here he is. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait. Wait, he's actually doing damage. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Bro, I actually need to be careful. Oh my god. I actually can just cheese him from this area here now. <laughs> Let's go. That actually could have been deadly though. The amount of damage he was doing in combination with that wither effect could have been bad. And for these next two bosses, I am making a return to the end. Here is the last of the bosses that I'm going to need one of these nether stars for. See, can I make a successful landing? Oh, that actually was not bad at all. Got these drones like flying at me right now. They do not want me here. But if I pop the nether star in right there, the shelterer has spawned. What you'll be able to see here though is it doesn't take any sword or even bow damage. Literally the only way I can hurt this thing is with explosions. So this gun I just got earlier is gonna be pretty useful. My DPS with this thing is not very high though. So uh, yeah, this is gonna take a bit. And now its shell is broken. So just gotta get the last couple. Oh my God. Oh my god, half a heart! Bro, I did not realize it does that much damage! There we go, I got it. Oh my god, of all the bosses that were going to get the closest to ending me, I was not expecting it to be that little cube dude. Holy, that thing did so much damage once it popped out of there. Oh my god. All right, now I just need to find an end Midlands biome. And here we are. And now I just need to start looking for a mob called the Enderiophage. Oh, there's one right here. Come here, don't go away, don't go away. Yes, there we go, I got it, the capsid. All right, so now I can put this thing down. We take this crimson mosquito larva I got from the nether, throw it in there, and we get this little guy, the mysterious worm. And now I drop that thing into the void which might seem kind of weird, but in a second here, you will see why. And there it is, the Void Worm boss is here. And now for this fight, I actually have some arrows because we are going to need them. Because in order to do good damage to this thing, I have to hit it in the head. Oh, th this is perfect, this is perfect. Its head is coming right at me. I can get some huge hits and oh my God. If I accidentally hit it in the body too much, it'll split off into multiple ones. We've got it low already here. One more hit in the head. Oh no. Okay, see, I hit it in the body there. So now it's split off into another Void Worm. We got it, we got it, let's go! And now we move into the boss fights that are gonna start to get really interesting because it's time to start exploring some other dimensions. And the first dimension I'm gonna be visiting is the blue sky. So I need to go ahead and talk to this guy here, trade him eight emeralds for this zeal lighter. And now we can hop in here, light this portal and enter into the ever bright dimension. Now, what you will see here though, is if I try and use like my diamond ax to chop down these trees, it doesn't do very good. And that's because all overworld items are significantly nerfed in this dimension. So first thing I'm gonna have to do here is get geared up.
All right, and now I'm geared up with some stuff from the Blue Skies Dimension, so we should be good to go. So let's start looking for some bosses. I think we might have one here already. Wow. Wow, and this weapon does not do much damage at all. Oh my god. Here is our first key, though. I believe we need three more of these. Another key. Key number three. And there is our fourth key, though, so we should be good to go. But actually, after seeing how those fights just went, though, I want to do another piece of preparation before I go fight this boss. All right, so first, I want to harvest these crops here and make some of that regen stew because I have a feeling I might need it. And then the other thing I want to do is brew some strength potions. All right, hopefully I'm well enough prepared for this. Let's do it. And we are in the summoner boss fight. Oh, can't hit him yet. Let me go ahead and drink my potion of strength there. All right, and as you probably would have been able to guess by his name, he's immediately summoned in some golems here that were shooting like some arrows at me. And now we've got some melee ones in. These things are pretty easy to take out though. So that's nice. I summoned another round of these ranged ones. These ones are very annoying. I'm going to try and see if I can maybe just focus on getting some hits in on him. Because it doesn't really feel like there's any point in clearing the golems out if he's just going to immediately spawn in like four more of them, you know? So I'll just play a little bit of COD zombies with the golems. Lead them around in a circle while I try and go in for some hits on the summoner, I guess. My god, he teleports a lot. Stop teleporting so much, man. Okay, we've gotten some good damage in on him, though. He's almost down to half HP here. Okay, he's below half HP. Oh, now his golems have turned into like some red angry version. I'm just going to try and finish him here. I don't care about health. I don't care about health. I'm just going to try and finish him and get this over with so he doesn't regen again. Yes, we got him. Let's go. Whew. That one was actually a lot tougher than I was anticipating, though. My God. All right, but there we go. The first boss of the Blue Skies Dimension down for us. Now we're looking for the Nature Dungeon. And here it is. Oh, my God. This place is massive. Let's head inside here. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Okay, this has got to be the last floor. Oh, yeah, here we are. We made it. Oh, my God. God, I am not kidding. It took me like an hour to get through this dungeon. I was not expecting that. Holy. Wait, oh no. I just really only have three keys. This isn't gonna... No! I need one more nature key. Thankfully, it was just this last floor that I didn't do a really good job of clearing out that I'm missing a key from. So hopefully, shouldn't take me too long to find it. All right, I double check. Surely this is it, right? Yes, it is. We got it. Let's go. Holy, okay. All right, let's go for this. Here he is, the Starlit Crusher. All right, first thing I actually need to do is drink my strength pot here. And then, then we want to break down this wall here. And then I believe I can stun him with the spear. And then we can go in for some big hits with our axe. Okay, now we got to back up and get some regen going. Because otherwise, we're in massive trouble. We're getting hit by those, never mind. So I want to chill right here for a second. And he gets auto-stunned here. Okay, now I gotta back up, back up. Okay, my strength pot's gonna run out. I'm gonna pop one more here again, and we can go in for this, I think. Take that out. Oh, wait, I almost forgot to stun him. One more hit. Let's go! We got him, we got him. Oh, oh my god. And all the stuff from this dimension has, like, such low durability. I was scared, like, my axes were gonna be broken. Oh my god. And we get the Starlit Crusher loot bag. What do I get in here? Nature Arc provides one extra heart. Oh, we take that. But there we go. That is two Blue Sky bosses down. That is actually all of them that are in this Ever Bright dimension. But there is also the Ever Dawn dimension that's also a part of Blue Sky. So that's where we're headed next. In order to get to the Ever Dawn, though, I need to find another one of those villagers from earlier. But this one, of course, will have to have the other type of portal. Thankfully, though, when I was exploring earlier, I marked one that I found right here. And here we go, into the Everdon. Thankfully, the stuff I collected in the Everbright will still work here, so I don't need to go on like a whole nother mining adventure again. And you might immediately notice that this first boss structure is looking pretty similar to the first one we visited in the Everbright as well. And here is the Alchemist. Let me go ahead and drink my potion of strength before I forget. We learned from the last fight that that is very helpful to have. He's blinded me already. And so far, this one feels a lot easier just because I don't have to deal with those super annoying minions. Yeah, this guy is basically doing no damage to me. That other one was way harder. I'm not even going to go for the bread anymore. I'm just going to finish this guy off. This is literally too easy for me. And boom, there we go. Yeah, that was basically free. 
To be fair though, I did also upgrade to a stronger weapon that I got from the last dungeon I did, so that probably helped out a little bit. That is three down in the blue skies. There is just one final boss left now. And here we are. You can see this dungeon looks quite a bit different than the last one. Unfortunately, I don't think it's because it's going to be a lot easier to navigate. I think it's just because it's all underground here. Wow, never mind. That's the entrance to the boss fight already, isn't it? For reference, this took me about 10 minutes to get all four keys and get down here, whereas the other one took me literally an hour to get to the boss fight, so... Yeah. The final boss of the blue skies, Arachnar. No mini bosses so far, though. That's actually really nice as well. Oh my god, yeah. Already got down to half HP. I'm not gonna lie. This thing's kind of easy. All right, I should be able to finish it off here. The strength ups my damage so much. Yeah, we got him. We've got him here. Should be one more hit. Boom! There we go. And that is all for the blue skies dimension. So that is enough of all those weapons. Can't say I'm sad to see him go. And next up, it's time to head to the Twilight Forest. And I believe this should do the trick. All right, let's go in. And the first boss of this dimension is the Naga, which is this big snake-like boza you see right in front of me here. And I get the feeling I'm a bit overprepared for this boss fight because so far I've lost like no health and I am just shredding through him. And boom, there we go. <laughs> All right, and now I need to find the Lich Tower. And this big tower over here looks oddly suspicious. And I'm wondering, can I just like break in through the walls here? Apparently I can, and here he is. <laughs> All right, well, and his shields are down already, so we should just need a couple hits. And he's dead. All right, I'm heading into the snowy area here. And I believe I'll be able to find my friend the Yeti in here. Oh, and here he is, the Alpha Yeti. And once again, I'm a bit overprepared. Our damage to this guy is kind of ridiculous. I am just shredding through him without him being able to do much in response. And with the Yeti taken out, I'm moving on to the other boss in this icy area, which thanks to my Elytra, I can just literally fly to the top of this tower. And here she is, the Snow Queen. And she's doing a good job at staying out of my reach. I'm gonna pill her up and see if I can just fight her from here. Once again, though, my gear is a bit too good for this, so... So, uh, yeah, she's done for. All right, and now I should be able to fight the Hydra. And I've only come prepared with a total of 13 arrows, so I'm gonna drink a potion of strength to make the most of these things. All right, one more hit should be good. Boom, there we go. Hydra is down. And now it is time for the final boss of the Twilight Forest, the Urgast. And thanks to my elytra, I can just go ahead and fly up to the top of this place immediately. And here he is. Wow, my bow is not doing a lot of damage to this thing. I guess when it shoots fireballs at me, that'll be a good opportunity for me to do some more damage to it. Yeah, that does some damage. My bow is literally doing like nothing to it though. Oh my god. Oh wait, th this fireball could this fireball should do it. That should do it, right? Yes! Let's go! And that is the final boss of the Twilight Forest down. All right, and next up, I'm headed to the Atum Dimension. So just gotta throw down some sandstone here. And in we go. And we have arrived in the dimension of sand. Visibility, obviously not that great. But what I'm looking for here is a massive pyramid that's gonna contain the Pharaoh boss. Oh, we've got a group of bandits coming for me already. And I believe this is what I'm looking for. If I go ahead and slap these right here, we are into the pyramid. And now we just gotta make our way through another maze here. And here we are. Now I just gotta go ahead and place these four torches down. And right click on here, the Pharaoh has spawned. All right, here we go. Bro, he's just spamming me with this one attack. What the heck is this? And you are dead, sir. All right, and that is all we need out of the Atum dimension. And the final dimension I'm heading into is the void. So I am just plummeting into the void at the moment, got a clutch with this balloon, and we have safely landed on the ground. Now, if you hear all that lightning striking right now, that is a ton of apotheosis mini bosses spawning in. So I need to get a move on with this boss fight before any of them find me. So let me go ahead, drink this strength potion, right click right here, and the keeper has spawned in. I don't even want to look and see how many of the apotheosis mini bosses are around me right now because it is probably devastating. You also can probably see that I have like literally every potion effect imaginable applied to me right now. So uh, yeah, this is quite the chaotic boss fight here. I wish you just need like one more hit here 
The keeper has been taken down. I need to get to a safe spot. There are so many of these things. It is not safe here. All right, now I need to quickly throw down this oxygen extractor, throw in a glass bottle and a slime ball, and I just need to survive long enough for this to seal to 100%. There are so many... There are so many of these things. Oh my god. What's it at? What's it at? There it is. Okay, we got the void air. We got the void air. Okay, let me get to a safer spot once again. God, they just non-stop spawn. Okay, now to escape, I just need to go ahead and throw that down and we have made it out oh my god and with that all the bosses from other dimensions are complete bring us to the final category of the cataclysm bosses oh and here we go here's the first one is this the place here yes it is all right we found him the netherite monstrosity and the fight has already begun oh my god not sure if i should have prepped a strength potion for this fight or not so far it seems like our damage is mostly good so we should be okay this guy is no weakling though he has put some damage in on me already all right i'm actually scared i'm actually scared i'm actually scared Woo! stop making so much lava man i just tried to place water in the nether what is wrong with me <laughs> that is skyblock brain coming back to haunt me for sure oh yeah here we go here we go this is the end of him i probably should have used a strength potion i'm not gonna lie but come on we got him yes let's go netherite monstrosity down and here is the structure for our next two bosses actually and i could try to work my way through another maze or i could just mine in like this and here is the first one the ender golem all right and this guy doesn't seem too strong i want to try out this new hammer we got does this do like any damage wow it actually did do pretty decent damage but there we go ender golem down technically the mod listed as a boss it's kind of more of a mini boss and i believe this should be the final boss down here there he is the ender guardian all right we're getting in some good damage on him so far he's not hitting me with anything too crazy I'll do my best to actually block his attacks if I can. Oh, he's going into... Oh my god. All right, we're going into some sort of second phase here. Let me eat up so I can keep getting some regen. All right, we're actually taking some damage now. I need to start getting in some more hits on him. I don't want this fight to go on for too much longer. We got him. Let's go. And now that brings us to the final two bosses of this video, which similar to that last fight, actually both happen to be in the same structure. So let's head over to that structure now. All right, we should be getting close here. Yep, here it is. The final boss structure of the video. And first we need to head downstairs and take on this guy right here who I know, like the Ender Golem, is gonna definitely seem like more of a mini boss. But hey, according to the official mod page, he is a boss. So what do you want me to do? Like disrespect the mod creator? But yeah, there we go. That's the end of him already. And he drops this burning ashes, which is how we're about to summon the final boss of the video, who I promise will seem like much more of an actual boss. Before I fight this guy really quickly though, my pants are kind of low. I'm gonna use this mending mixture I got in that last end dungeon to fully repair them. That way he doesn't break them or something during the boss fight. All right, it's time. Here we go. And there he is, Ignis. It's time for our final boss fight here. Okay, going for some hits. Now, this will definitely be the most challenging boss fight we have faced yet. This guy's gonna require some actual strategy. He's already doing some pretty decent damage to me. I'm gonna try and run back and heal a little bit, kind of a lighter away. I'm gonna actually pop one of these Hydra Chops and get some regen going. I'm also gonna be trying to use this Void Core I picked up just to do a little bit of damage to him at a time. All right, we've got a little bit of his health chipped away. Not too much though. This, okay, that hurts. Oh my God, that hurts. Block that. Can we block that as well? All right, nice. Those are some solid hits. Those are some solid hits. All right, we need to do some more damage. I'm popping my first potion of strength here. Let's let this sword fly. I need to do some damage. All right, that was some solid damage. I'm going to eat a Hydra Chop to go ahead and regen for a second here now. Just got to keep taking whatever damage I can get in on him. Oh, okay. We're, in, we're into the second phase now, actually. Whew. Oh my God, that was close. That was close. He got me really low there. That was super close. I'm out of bread. I'm down to just these couple pumpkin pies I have. He's so low though. We can go in. I'm just going in for it. I'm going in. I got him. I got him. I got him. I got him. Let's go. Oh my God. Wow. What a way to end this. That is all 43 bosses of the better Minecraft hardcore mod pack taken down in hardcore in one video and now i just gotta figure out what to do next